Rosie. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tagging along on the old red dog. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he steers the boat. We go. If you were a child of the 90s and lived in the UK, you may be aware of a children's programme called Rosie and Jim. It ran on ITV between 1990 and 2000. It featured two rag dolls along with Duck who lived on a narrowboat called the Rag Doll. They would come to life and have adventures and cause mischief, all while the human owner of the boat was totally oblivious to their antics. Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books. And the books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. Rosie and Jim was one of my favourite shows to watch when I was a kid. What I loved was a few episodes were filmed in locations local to me. So in this video, we'll be revisiting some of the filming locations from around Birmingham and the Black Country. Rosie and Jim was produced by Ragdoll Productions, a production company created by Anne Wood, which at one point was based in the West Midlands. The company is responsible for the creation of other well-known children's TV shows, such as Pob, Brum, Tots TV, Teletubbies and In the Night Garden. And the Ragdoll Boat was built by Black Country Narrowboats, which was the focus of one episode. As you can see, we build them all out of steel, and we cut it with a flame cut. We actually burn it to cut you it. You burn it? Yeah, mm. we burn it with a special torch. Then we put it together, we actually weld it, which is like melting the steel together to stick it together. And then when we've finished the boat, we've done all the welding and the shaping and the cutting. Then we grind it all up to, get, to make it all nice and smooth before mm. we paint it. Mm. And then when it's all been ground and smooth and painted, then we put it in the water. Wonderful. Right? Now I should mention that I am only focusing on a few episodes here from the first two series. These episodes were presented by the original host, John Cunliffe, a children's author who created Postman Pat. At the end of every episode, he would write a short story featuring Rosie and Jim inspired by the adventures he'd been on. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the good boat rag doll when they saw... Let's start off with the very first episode. Episode one is called Locks and features John and the two rag dolls using a series of canal locks in order to get up a steep hill. Well, I want to get on today and get all the way to Dudley, along here. Now, my canal book says that round this corner there's a big hill and I've got to get my boat up that hill. How am I going to do that? Wait and see. You'll see when we come to it. OK, John. Thank you. You can see now that the water's much higher here than it is in the place where the boat is, in the lock. But if I open the tap using this key, then the water will run in and the boat will come up. So let's do it. Here it goes. The site of the locks is the Delph Locks in Briley Hill, and this is how they look now. Its history dates back to the 18th century and has had many restorations since.
The lock keeper's building is still here, but doesn't look like it's been in use for some time. It was padlocked shut, and it was sadly covered in graffiti. Although the episode mostly takes place around Briley Hill, there is also this shot where John goes around a roundabout. This is actually in Birmingham city centre, and is called the Old Turn Junction. I've done a silly thing. I've completely run out of food on the ragdoll. So if I don't find a shop today, there'll be nothing at all for my tea. Let's have a look at the book. Well, the book says that um, along here there are lots of houses and there's a bridge for trains to go over and even a lot of trees, but they're not much good for food. So I'll have to just go and have a look. The next episode I'm going to look at is Supermarket. In this episode, John has run out of food on the rag doll and needs to find a shop so he can buy something for tea. He ends up driving past a shopping centre which has a supermarket, which he visits, with Rosie and Jim not too far behind, who cause all kinds of mayhem. This episode was filmed at the Merry Hill Shopping Centre in Briarley Hill with John parking the boat at the waterfront. The supermarket John visits was a Sainsbury's. This shop has now gone. It was closed in 2016, demolished and rebuilt. A next now sits where Sainsbury's once did. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely day, isn't it? Now I've got my life jacket on and here's my book. I'm about here this morning. I'm going to go around this corner and all the way up here. And it's shown as a dotted line, so that means it's underground in a long, dark tunnel where it'll be as black as night. <gasps> Rosie, it's getting darker. It's nothing to worry about, Noggin. It's just the dark shadow of a big tower. It, it's, it's blocking out the sun. My book says it's a called Cobb's Engine House. I wonder what sort of engine Mr. Cobb had in his house once. This is where the canal goes under the hill. It looks like a rabbit hole to me. It's going to be really dark in there. There'll be no sunlight at all. This episode was filmed at Neverton Tunnel, which opened in 1858. It is 2,768 metres long, and if you wanted to walk through it along the path that runs down the side, it will take you 45 minutes. I didn't attempt this myself, though. It is rather dark in there. Just outside the tunnel is where this shot from the opening titles was filmed. You can see Cobb's engine house in the background. I must be about here, and I'm going to go all the way up to here. Oh, there's a place along here where they make glass. If I go along this way, I'll come to it. I think I'll go and see. So I've always wondered how they make glass. Next up is glass where John goes to find out how they make glass and visits a glassworks, which has a distinct funnel-shaped chimney. The location for this episode is the Red House Glass Cone, a Grade 2 listed building located in Wordsley, which sits next to the Stourbridge Canal. Oh, what a wet day. I put my socks out last night to dry and look at them. Sopping wet. Oh. Dear me. Now, if I look at my book, I might find somewhere with some shops and hopefully with a laundrette where I can get all my washing done. Well, I'm about here. And if I go all the way down here, there's a place where some roads cross the canal. There are sure to be some shops there. Next up, it's the episode Washing. On a rainy day, John takes his clothes to be washed and visits a laundrette. I'm pleased to say, as of the making of this video, the laundrette still exists. Oh, 
idea. There's something dreadfully wrong with the boat. I don't know. I can hardly steer at all now. Oh, oh it's come off. I can't steer the boat without this, can I? So I'm going to carry it along the towpath and see if I can find someone to help me to repair it. <coughs> Pull the boat. <laughs> along the towpath. <laughs> Is this a place where you mend boats? Yes, we can. They can repair that can, in our blacksmith shop. Can you? Where well, is your boat? Well, it's about a mile down the canal. Oh. Well, Mandy will take the horse and tow it back oh, for you. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes. This is the old mine that I was telling you about, where you can go and visit. It's a place where they used to get coal from under the ground. Oh, Rosie, we're going down deep, deep, deep into a magic place. <laughs> I don't like it, Jim. It's getting dark and it's getting stuffy. Yeah. We're underneath all those rocks that we saw earlier mm -hmm. and we've reached the coal. Ah, all round here. The episodes Horse Towing and Coal were filmed at the Black Country Living Museum, an open-air museum depicting Black Country life in the past. Oh, my hair's getting in my eyes. Oh, now, this canal leads to Birmingham. If I go there... I should think I'll find a good place to get a haircut. So I'll go and have a look. Next up, there's hair, where John goes to Birmingham to have his hair cut. I wasn't too sure where this hairdresser's was, as it's long gone, and the episode was filmed so long ago. I studied what I could see out of the window and did some online research, and worked out it was situated along this row of shops in Birmingham's Dale End. I have done with my keys. I don't know where they are. Oh, dear, look at them there. Look at my hat! Rosie! Yeah? Look! What? This dog's lovely old hat! What? It's running away! Oh, no! Boxer's dog always wears a hat! Oh, no. That looks like the end of my hat. Poor old Fizzgo. No. Never mind, though. I needed a new one. In the episode Hats, John loses his hat and goes into Birmingham again to find a new one. In this shot, we see John go past the ICC, not far from the roundabout we saw earlier on in the video. Excuse me, can you tell me, is this the right way to the rug market, please? Oh, yes. Um, if you just follow the path round, then you'll soon see it. Oh, lovely. Thank you. OK. Bye, bye Bye. John visits the rag market in search of a new hat. As of the making of this video, the rag market is still going in Birmingham, but has moved locations since the making of this episode. Well, what about a postman's hat? Hmm. Well, I could get up early in the morning and deliver the letters before I set out on the rag doll. It's a bit small for me, though. He thinks he's postman Pat! <laughs> well, I don't know where I'm going today. I think I'll just set out and see what happens. Another Birmingham episode. In this one, John is unsure what to write about for a story. Off for a walk? Yes, we're just visiting our daughter in hospital. In hospital? Yeah. Oh, is it near? Yes. It's... Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's your name? Nadine. Her name's Nadine, Rosie. Nadine, yeah. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Can I have a look? <gasps> a letter, Rosie. A letter. Bye, Nadine. All well, best wishes. Okay, then. Bye. Bye-bye. What's this? 
Oh, it's a letter. Dear Rosie and Jim, my sister Claudine is in hospital. Please visit her and make her happy. Love from Nadine. Oh, what a pity that Rosie and Jim are just rag dolls and they can't visit the hospital. Oh, but I could go. That would make it a really special day. Hmm. Now that I know I'm going to the hospital, that's what I'll write my story about. And I'll take some fruit with me as well. And here it is. And it's not a hospital anymore. It was converted as part of the Broadway Plaza entertainment venue. So there we go, a look at some locations from Rosie and Jim. I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, tagging along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>